Hello and welcome back to Storm Souls. This is a group one game, round three, between Suicide Solution and Snake Pit. And I am joined today by the fantastic Titan Lord. Thank you for joining me. You're welcome. It's wonderful to be here. Yeah. Um, first time casting? Yeah, exactly. It's yeah, so... I'm very excited, but I'm uh, ready to get into it. Yeah, I'm happy to have you here. I mean, I had Miagas for some of the group two games, but you're going to cast him now in this game. Meanwhile, we're going to have Snake Pit, the blue team on the left here, Crablisk on that Diablo, Team Captain Peter Rabbit on the ETC, Levo playing that Sylvanas, Dex on Rexar, uh, yep, yeah, Rhaegar, sorry, not Rexar, and Soul Whisper on that Sergeant Hammer. And on the other side, we have Myagas on Falstaff, uh, Slamjam on Uther, Slinger on Thrall, Katini on Leeming, and 1% on Murden. Yeah, so as I said, I had Myagas casting with me for some of the Group 2 games, so if you've not checked them out, go do, they're a lot of fun. And uh, he's team captain of Suicide Solution, who we see here in red, who are roaming as five. Moving down, maybe looking to get a gank. I mean, they've got Li Ming, which is just insane. And Diablo's actually just going to get caught out here, blocked by the ET, uh, sorry, by the Muradin, and he's dead. Easy peasy. In the meantime, the, the uh, blue team actually got the bottom tower from the bottom lane as well, so... Yeah, they are, uh, like, you know, obviously gathering as five, using that Sylvanas advantage, the Black Arrow disabling the tower, just go straight for it, and uh, get a small little experience jump. They are still ahead despite being a kill down, but yeah, that Diablo just got, despite being really tanky, killed. And uh, Sylvanas take a little bit of damage to the Leeming spells coming out, not really hitting. It's In the meantime, we saw Fawcett fly up the matchup against Hammer off top. Yeah, pretty. I think favourable probably for the uh, for the Falstad as long as he can get a decent bush initiation onto the onto the hammer. If the hammer's just going to sit there and uh, you know be sieged, it'll be fine. Bottom lane, bit of action happening. Nothing special. There. Yeah, I mean both teams. I mean we've, we've got uh, we've got Muradin who is able to get out of any situation he wants with Dwarf Toss being played by one percent. So really play. Um, Great to see him on that hero, but obviously Snake Pit rolling with that double tank combination. Well, I suppose triple tank if you cast Sergeant Hammer, because she is literally a tank. And ETC actually jumping in there. Really good power slide onto two. Not going to get the good face melt mosh back, but Slinger keeping himself alive with the self heals. Dex actually on that Rhaegar taking a huge amount of damage, and he's going to end up falling. ETC then rooted by the um, by the Thrall's Feral Spirit, but able to power slide himself to safety. Little haunting wave by the Savannas to get away as well. First set of Immortals. Two kills up for uh, for Suicide Solution here, looking looking strong at the start of this game. And as you pointed out earlier, I mean you've obviously got Snake Pit here with that Sylvanas advantage taking another town in bottom. You see a very aggressive push onto the blue immortal here. Yeah, they're gonna get the first half of it. I mean, they Snake Pit are uh, are actually slightly ahead on experience because of those tower takes and stuff, but Falstaff's continue to soak in that top lane, try and even this out. Yeah, and it seems it's just gonna do some shield mitigation here to make sure that they just don't get overrun by the Immortal. Yeah, and this was really nice here by 1%. He, uh, on the Muradin, moved in away from the Immortal just before they killed it and uh, threw, threw a Storm Bolt at the hard camp so they can capture this hard camp just before the Immortal spawn, or rather during the Immortal spawning, so they don't despawn. And that's really going to help them push. Goes in the same lane as the Immortal, but a little bit of extra backup is going to be nice. And they are now ahead on experience because of the false dad soap. Here we see uh, false dad trying to take top count, but it's it's taken. Well, might get taken by the other team. We'll have to see. Yeah, one percent. They're using the dwarf toss to get onto the camp, not knowing that uh, <laughs> basically the rest of Snake Pit were there and locked down with no escape. He's cleaned up quite nicely, and uh, yeah, this Immortal's... I mean, it's going to get the wall in the towers. That's that's as much as you can really hope for the first Immortal, and even maybe get a right click or two on the on the fort. Yeah, I guess. The demon has Bottom lane, Leeming versus Sylvanas. Um, I mean, Leeming's taken some damage, but she's just able to beat uh, like beat down those towers so quickly. There you go. There's one down. Yeah, level 1 Li Ming, you can destroy a tower in 21 seconds. It's crazy. Crazy to yeah, think. Especially if you stay out of tower range of it. It's, it's, a, bit, yeah. uh, it's a bit much sometimes. You have to she's, really play against it. She's a better Sergeant Hammer who's more mobile. 
<laughs> That's yeah, basically yes. it. <laughs> Uh, speaking of Sergeant Hammer, Soul Whisper just uh, sat here on this top lane, quite happily sieged up and, and taking that full wall. So nice little push coming out here from Snake Pit. You can leave. also see that uh, Rhaegar has been taken cleansed. It's going for an interesting build because he's going for the uh, the wall build, which is not very common. Yeah, you'll normally see the lightning shield build and. Something that I would have actually thought would be really, really good, especially with a Diablo and an ETC, two tanks who love to like get into the middle of the fray and just hurt hurt people. So yeah, um, odd to see. Let's just have a double check here. But weird talents, definitely. So small half level experience lead for Suicide Solution means that they are currently winning the race to ten, which is you know all important. Um, as this next uh, set of Immortals spawn, no team at 10 and no team has a talent advantage. So it's a pretty good time for Snake Pit to try and get a fight and try and, uh, and, try and win it. Because they can have Hammer sieged up in one of these little nooks and crannies, get the ETC to power slide his way in, and, uh, and yeah, he can really lock somebody down with the Diablo. We can see here that the red team is going to start sneaking in. Yeah, they're going to get it. They're going to get the keep. No, of course. Yeah, and that's a nice little pick off there because I mean, Li Ming does so much siege damage as well as obviously having the, the entire team there. And uh, yeah, taking the fort, getting that experience, and yet another little push. They are almost, almost like three quarters of a level ahead. I'm still going to class it as half. And they're going to go down to the bottom lane to clean up the camp there before they start the waiting for the immortal. Yeah, now this is really, really smart from Suicide Solution here. What they're doing is they're ignoring the first half of the Immortal and soaking. They're getting as much experience as they can so that hopefully after this first half of the Immortal they'll be able to fight it out with their heroics. Meanwhile, there is a fight going to happen, break out before the heroics. Diablo's going to get erased immediately by the Li Ming going in plus that for all. Sergeant Hammer's still sieged up. Gonna use his head to get out of there. One pro sent. Getting taken down, Peter Rabbit low on the background, going to be able to power slide himself away, and Sylvanas with no way to escape, just gets killed. Soul Whisper, not able to mount up, or Zed, because he'd already used it, going to be able to get cleaned up as well. And Suicide Solution, 3-0, and and they've just hit level 10 midway through that fight. Really, really well played there. Uh, Lee Ming? Really well by splitting up the enemy team. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Taken down again, that's really not very favourable for them. Yeah, they've been getting hit by the Immortal Storm, they're almost falling, but uh, yeah, no heroics used at all though, and they still won that fight. That was, uh, that was crazy. Really well played. Yeah, as you say, they split them up really nicely, despite only having kind of the one warrior to do so in the Murrigan. Interesting enough, uh, the Immortal Health is more or less equal, but I think the, uh, the red team's going to get it just ahead of the other one. Yeah, and Li Ming's going to start that hard camp just before they clean up the Immortal. Again, getting this hard camp to push um, either with or against their their Immortal. And uh, they're going to again push with their Immortal, so... Going to the top lane. That bottom fort having been cleaned up earlier. It's going to be a very hard one to defend uh, because of that talent sometimes that they have. The demon moves. Yeah, and I really like what Sylvanas is doing here, if you uh, notice her. She's uh, going down to the bottom. Not Probably not going to be able to kill the fort, but at least soak th this and just get that extra little bit of experience. Try and reach 10 to defend their keep. Because they don't mind losing the towers, they don't mind losing the gate, they just want to defend their keep. Because we're, what, 8 minutes into the game? If you lose the keep this early on, you're at a massive disadvantage. Especially on a massive two-lane map, such as Battlefield of Eternity. And uh, yeah, level 10, almost eking out here for Snake Pit. Mortals lost its shield. Fight not quite breaking out. Soul Whisper on that hammer has sieged up, doing decent damage to Immortal. Keeps falling fast though. They're going to really need to deal with him quickly. The Sylvanas does clean up the fort. Nice in the bottom, and they don't quite lose their keep. And now that they are 10. Suicide Solution doing the exact smart thing and uh, just backing off, playing it safe. There's no need to throw, no need to give their opponents a couple kills for the sake of a keep at this point when they're already ahead. Why give exactly. your why give your enemy a chance to catch up? Exactly. You can notice as well, 
on the defending side, they all stay behind their, their feet. Well, yeah, and all, in the meantime, we do have this fight going on. The Sundering did so much work on this Sylvana. She may end up ticking down to the uh, to the Envenom. Yet, yeah, Chain Lightning just going to pick her off there. Really huge Lightning Breath coming down. Landing on three, actually. Lee Ming and Falstead. Almost time. Good ETC Moss Priot landing on four, but he's going to get mighty gusted away. And that's going to be a full cleanup here for uh, for Suicide Solution. Oh, no. The Uther go does go down. Obviously, the Falstead went slightly early. They were all so low. I mean, look at the Thrall, the Lee Ming, and the Muradin have had to back off because they were really low. I say that, Muradin was, was the one doing the chasing, and yeah. Good fight. That was very well-timed uh, Gus right there from Falstad. That was very impressive. He was very patient with it as well, just not using it to get the disengage, despite falling so low. And yeah, just waited for that mosh pit. But that mosh, I mean, <laughs> had that mosh pit come a little earlier, like, on in the same location... That would have been great because it was it was a four man mosh pit and he, but he just had so little health at that point and his team were practically dead. Exactly. There was no follow up. Yeah, the false dad. I thought the movement there from Miyagi's team captain. I mean, showing why he's team captain there. Just that map knowledge, that sense as Diablo's going to get caught out here, most likely killed. ETC not able to disrupt the enemy enough. Peter Rabbit can't save his teammate. But yeah, like I was saying, Miyagus' movement there, he, he could have like stayed there and continued to right-click, trying to kill off the ETC because he was so low, but he didn't. He saw the ETC moving in and literally he moved back. He intentionally went, okay, I'm not going to kill him straight away because I won't be able to kill him quick enough. I'm going to move back, prepare my mighty gas. And he used it as soon as that ETC forgot the mosh pit. Uh, we can see here the blue team is sneaking bottom. I think they're going to try and sneak in the wall there from the keep to get on even talents. Yeah, this uh potentially going to try and get a back door. I mean, they see the first half is down. They're not moving in on this yet. There goes the Savannah, so haunting wave going through. Talent advantage though for Suicide Solution. So they can just... I mean, they'll take the Immortal and just push for the win at this point. The Immortal's going to spawn bottom. Oh, they're, they're going back to uh, base defend this. Yeah, this keep is uh, its not going to fall because, I mean, the Leeming's there, the false stats there, the Sundering from behind, the backstab, four of them are caught out in a bad position. EC's going to get gusted away as he power slides his way towards the false stand. And that is going to be a full team wipe of Soul Whisper, the last to get killed. Going to be shrunk raid by that Uther. 5 0, the Diablo respawning almost immediately because of his uh, oh so useful trait sometimes. What's very interesting there was uh, to notice that they actually didn't all go back to base and defend from behind the keep. They noticed they were uh, still talented, but they were still heading palace. So they did a scissoring move, which uh, one team from the back and one team from the front, and they really yeah, locked so up good. really well. As you say, that pincer maneuver. I mean, it was great that they sent the Leeming and the Falstad back because the Leeming got there first in the fight. S of Johand, um, with the, obviously with their arcane orb. And then the th uh, the thrall with that sundering from behind just did so much. Grouped four of them together, and yeah, that was it. That was it. It was crazy. It was a good kind of little wombo they had going there. Falstad flying top, clean up this top lane, get the experience. They are a talent point ahead, three levels, and uh, Snake Pit fighting for their lives here. This is a best of two, so if they lose this game, they're not out. They can still win the next game and draw up the series. But this immortal may get a couple percent of uh, the core health. No, not quite. No, just not. Mercenary is going to be taken here by Suicide Solution. Siege. Uh, so the Bruiser camp in, and then the uh, Siege camp up in top. Both going to push that top lane, trying to force this keep. If they get that down, it's only really a matter of time before they hit 20 and and push for the win. If they don't do it any sooner than that. Meanwhile. Is this another backdoor attempt? No, they're just going to move down and clear this bottom wave. I thought they were going to get cheeky and move through the map there, see if they could just go for core, but... No, I think you're just yeah. uh, moving in group because they're a little bit afraid because they're three levels behind at this point, and it's... I mean, you're afraid of getting caught out one by one and just getting picked off again. Yeah. I mean, uh... This board's going to fall really quickly here. Yep, it's already gone. Keeps gone. Yeah, I'm just going to have a quick look at the damage charts here. And Falstad's actually really doing a lot of damage. He's keeping up with the Li Ming, who is, I mean, 
it's Lee Ming, so he, we expect her to be on top. But I'm, I'm quite surprised how well the Argus on that Fossil has been doing to, to keep up with her damage wise, so. Well played. Li Ming is still 10k ahead, wow. Yeah, it's... She just chunked away a third of Rhaegar's health in, in just one orb. She's a bit powerful. Yeah, I mean, I this game was played, uh, I'm trying to think, it was about two or three days after the Li Ming patch came in. So, oh, Diablo going to get caught out here. Absolutely erased. Okay, Norb. Flying out, not able to pick anyone up with a reset of cooldowns. This is going to be a hard camp in favour of Suicide Solution. It's the next set of Immortals spawn. Sergeant Hammer sieged up. Potentially a bad spot to siege up because he could get, you know, epic mounted and then uh, mighty gusted into the enemy team, although not level 20 yet, so no epic mount. Not bad. I don't think Snake Pick can test this at all. I think they've just got to leave it. There's still a talent point behind. I'm afraid though that they, they're gonna have to do something because they're really that far behind and I think if they win this immortal it's gonna be very hard to defend this. Yeah, full health, full shield immortal. Obviously there's nothing you can do at that point. ETC has to get like a five man mosh pit, that's the only thing I can see. Barney power slides through, he's gonna land a two man mosh pit, but the mighty gust comes out again. Great movement from uh, from the Argus on that. Uh, false stab, the stunning comes through, doesn't do too much with the lightning breath. Oh, that's such a good position for the Diablo to be in, really zoning out that false stab. Meanwhile, Savannah and Rhaegar are going to get picked up, Soul Whisper on that Sergeant Hammer. Nothing she can do there, just sit back, right click and not get any kills. Full five man wipe, that's an ace in favour of Suicide Solution. The GG is called, and that is going to be uh, a game number one for Suicide Solution. Wow, that was a, a really dangerous game. Yeah, Suicide Solution, uh, good team, showing definitely that they are strong. In fact, uh, the only team to uh, to take a game off uh, off MCON so far in this group. Uh, they that's the only draw we've had of this series, and yeah, Suicide Solution remaining strong and uh, taking this 1-0 out of this best of two.